Seldon. We're here at Third Industrial Park, here today for our basketball skills training. Today we'll be focusing on ball handling skills. I have here Jarvis, the, a kid that goes to um, Howard Middle, plays basketball. Um, so he'll be doing performing the drills that I'm showing him. So let's get started. Okay. Now the first drill we, we're going to get into is um, pretty much a warm-up drill. Kind of get um, Jarvis' and blood flowing, work on his um, fingertips. Um, called the fingertip drill. So what this will look like, you have your ball, we'll start out, arms locked down low, all right? We're just gonna go back and forth with the ball, controlling it with our fingertips, all right? Now, I will blow my whistle, and, and Jarvis will, again, take it up between his fingertips again, constantly back and forth, controlling the ball. I blow my whistle once again, and he'll take it up above his head, all right? Above his head. I'll hit my whistle one more time. He goes to, into a boxer shell. He's just going back and forth on your toe, all right? On my whistle, Jarvis, you start with the drill, okay? There you go, keep your arms out, arms out. That's okay. Guys, it's, it's okay to mess up in this drill, all right? We're gonna drop the ball sometimes. I want you to just stay focused and try to control the ball on your fingertips. Good job. Now he's at still, arm still locked. He has the ball out in front of him. Good ball control. As you can see, the ball is still on his fingertips. Here. Keep those arms locked, Jarvis, Jarvis. There you go. Control, control. What do you think, too? Alright, now on this last whistle, he goes to the boxing shuffle, okay? Just working mainly working on your, your right hand, your left hand. Uh, the most important thing though, make sure you keep the ball on your fingertips. A lot of ball, you get a lot of ball control on your fingertips. A lot of, a lot of guys are giving their palm. That's not the correct way to do it. You want to always keep the ball on your fingertips. Next thing you always want to stay low. Stay low. Alright? Stay very low. Most of the ball is on my fingertips. Low. All right, and also keep your eyes up. When you dribble, you gotta see what's going on on the floor. So y'all wanna make sure you're looking up at all the time. All right. Stand low, eyes up, nice control on the ball. Alright. Yeah, ball up, here's chin. Alright. And also notice that he's pounding the ball. He's pounding. Pounding. While maintaining control. Okay, 
now that we have that, that out of the way, Gerard Jones is going to switch the ball in his left hand, doing the same thing. All right? Now, typically, on these dribble drills, you want you want anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds. That, that'll, that'll be good enough to get a good, good work in. All right, Jarvis on the whistle. Stay low, eyes up. Balls on your feet, too. Nice control, all right? Good. Whistle, he's going above his knee, above his knee on the whistle. That's okay. Above his knee, above his knee, the height. Okay. Always remember, it's okay. This is practice. You can mess up. Just grab the ball and get back to the drill. Good job, Jarvis. Right. This whistle, you're going up towards his chest, okay? Pound it, pound it, on your fingertips. Good. Good job. A little higher, a little higher. Ten seconds, we're done. Higher, higher. Good. Moving right along, we're going between our legs, just back and forth. We're going to start out with the ball in our right hand, all right? Again, we want to get low, eyes up, okay? We're just going back and forth. Back and forth like this, okay? Kind of move with the ball a little bit. Kind of move. As you get better, you want to get quicker. If you mess up, like again, that's okay. Get the ball, continue the drill. All right, Jarvis. Jarvis has his arm, left leg up, keep position. Ball in his left hand, low. On the whistle, we start. Good, nice, very nice. Jarvis is very, is real low. Controlling the ball, has his eyes constantly up the whole time. That's what we want, guys. That's what we want. Jarvis did a great job on that. Now, we're going to switch it over to the other side. Same drop between the legs. Also, keep in mind, these, these things you can do at home, while you're outside, do it inside if, you, if your parents don't mind, but I doubt it. But <laughs> anywhere you can go, you can, I mean, you can get, get somewhere where you got a lot of space and work on your dribble moves. All right, on the whistle. Good. Stand low. Nice quick dribble. Eyes up. It's perfect. Back and forth. Don't worry about the mess up. We 
want you to mess up. That means you work it, you work it. Slow, I stays up. Alright, about 10 more seconds. Push, push. Doing good, you're doing good. Great job, great job. Right, our next drill is called spider drill. Okay. Jarvis, same thing, he's gonna get low, maintain his eyes up. Alright? He's gonna tap the ball two times in the front and to the back. He does this a couple times, it, 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 it'll look more like a rotation, alright? Ready? So, worry about the next one. Try to keep following the middle. Try to keep following the middle. Tap it, two in the front, two in the back. Keep the ball going. Good job, good job. Okay, next drill we're gonna do, Jarvis is gonna kinda demonstrate, go through it. The ball is gonna be in his right hand now, alright? What he's gonna do, he's gonna he's on the side, he's gonna push the ball forward, bring it back with his hand, alright? With this drill, again, still working on. Ball low, you stand low, eyes up, actually keeping the ball low on those feet when you have the ball. This drill, I mean, you can implement this in numerous of dribbles, kind of bake your opponents out, grab it, cross over, a lot of different things like that. So that's one of the reasons why we always want to work on these type of pitch areas. Alright? On the whistle. I right, want you to stay low also, stay low. Try to keep the ball below your knees. You want to go quick, you want to quick, quick, quick. I don't care if you mess up. I just want you to go quick as possible, all right? Mess up, grab the ball, come back, continue the drill, all right? Very good, good job, good. That's what we want, all right? Couple more seconds. Alright, right now, same thing, we just gonna move it over to our left hand. Same concept, stand low, eyes up, keep the ball in your fingertips. On the whistle. Good, good. Quicker, quicker, quicker. That's why I start over. Quicker, 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 quick. Good. Quick, quick, quick. Ball control, quick, 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 quick. You all right, you all right, just stay with it, stay with it. Two more seconds. Now that we got most of our stationary dribbles out the way, we're good, we're warmed up, um, we're gonna do a little movement now. So, what Jarvis is gonna do now is um, just cross over dribbles. Left to right. Alright, he's gonna walk with it, dribbling, left to right in his hand. Again, we wanna stay low, our eyes up, control the ball on our fingertips. So we're gonna let him walk through this as a demonstration. Now if he does that, we'll go ahead and move forward with the drill. Alright? So we're starting out slow, 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 slow. Alright? Nice and easy. Just back and forth, alright? Okay, now, um, what you need to do at home is find you something, a phone, a chair, anything to kind of mark, um, mark your space. Alright, now Jordan, Jarvis, he, this, this is probably about 10 to 15 feet, so, I mean, find you something so you can have the actually dribble, dribble to, then you'll return back on the dribble. Alright, so we're going to start him back over at the beginning, and do the actual dribble. Okay, on my whistle, he's gonna get
get started. He's gonna be gain speed. He's going back and forth quick as possible, but maintaining a, a nice, you know, even pace. All right. Now, as you can see, he kept the ball below his knees. He had good control, eyes up, he stayed low. All right, that's what we want. Um, I want him to always to keep it, you know, very quick. You know, I know you guys think uh, I mess up and you can get discouraged, but now this, you're practicing, you want to mess up. So, you got to be complete, have complete focus and do the drill hard as possible so I want you to go through that quick back and forth then that, that way you, you'll, you'll get those reps in and next time you'll be a whole lot better when you perform the same drill all right all right next thing we're gonna do got the cross hole out of the way now he's gonna go between his leg the same thing um between his leg and he's gonna come over with a quick cross hole now he's gonna continue to do this all the way to his landmark, which is the cone. All right, so on my whistle, he's gonna start out with the ball in his right hand, he'll go between his leg and cross over. All right, on the whistle. Stay low, control the ball with your fingertips, eyes up. Alright, on the wall. Balls below his knees, right? Below his knees. Right? He's, he's going to pound, pound, pound. We're going to do that in about 20 seconds. Then, on my next whistle, he's going to walk the ball to his, to his landmark. He's going to walk it down, two dribbles, and he's going to come right back. He's drill over. Alright? So, on my whistle, he's going to dribble the ball below his knees as fast as he can. Alright? He's doing everything that I, I told him. As far as standing low, ball off the lowest knees, he's pounding the balls on his fingertips. That's how you get, get good ball control. Alright? On my whistle, we, we go, we're gonna walk up to our landmark, alright? Job on that um, exercise, so now he's still gonna have his two balls, um, but now he's just gonna alternate left, right, left, right. All right, it's gonna be the same drill as first, alternate the balls 20 to 30 seconds, and next we'll, we'll, he's gonna walk it down to the landmark and come back. All right. training skills today. I appreciate my man Jarvis coming out and, and helping me out. Um, remember, these things, that you can do this at home. 
in your room, outside in the garage, anywhere where you feel like you can um, control the ball, keep them on your fingertips, stay low and eyes up. Um, do these drills about three, three or four sets at 20, 20 25, 30 seconds. Um, most important thing though, stay low, control the ball on your fingertips, and keep your eyes up the whole time. All right, so appreciate it, we out.